Hola amigos. Hello, ¿cómo están? Welcome to the Rosanna Mod Podcast on YouTube. This is your vessel and host, Rosanna Moduño. Rosanna Mod, also known as the genius. Anyway, so my hair looks like crap. Um, it is four o'clock in the morning and I had some drama at three o'clock in the morning and that's why I'm talking to you like this. I figured why put my makeup on to look pretty or tell you about it tomorrow when it happened now. I can't sleep. So I'm going to tell you what happened. About three o'clock in the morning, I was woken by a jiggling of my door. Yep, you heard it here first. What I thought was jiggling. I'm a very light sleeper. I thought, what the hell is that? My first instinct was to go to my phone and look at my ring camera and there it was some dude just randomly standing in front of my door and I freaked out because of the time. Now if it was earlier I would have thought well we got the wrong door or whatever but since it's three o'clock in the morning I'm like that's a little suspicious to me and that always puts me on guard. So Coco of course she didn't hear anything she was sound asleep and I immediately as soon as I saw him he, you know, as soon as I saw him walking away, I called the police and I was on the phone with them. They were asking me what he looked like, um, what color. I said black, uh, goatee, uh, you know, shorts, long shorts and a t-shirt and six foot, 180 pounds. I don't know. I was guessing. And then he walked away when he saw the ring camera because I don't have the ring camera in front of my door, but I'm going to get to that in a minute. So the police were there so fast. I was still on the phone with 911 when they showed up. It was like maybe two minutes after I called. I'm still on the phone. And I thought it was the guy that came back because they were knocking on the door, but they were knocking hard. You know, like, bomb, bomb. I'm like, holy crap, I'm not even dressed. I mean, I wasn't even wearing this. I had nothing on. I was like, I'm going to put something on. Hold on a minute. I'm getting dressed. <laughs> Why are you knocking so hard? So uh, I go out there. He wants to see the video. I show him the video. The guy isn't black. He's white on the video. But I couldn't tell because I had my light bulb off in front of my door. Everybody else has a light bulb. I took mine off because of the bugs. Like it attracts all these moths and things. And when I open the door, they fly in. So I just figured I'm just going to take my light off. You know, and that's another thing. It's like, why did that guy pick my random door without the light? You know, it was just coincidence, you know. So this is what I wanted to tell you. To make a long story short, that was it. Nothing was done. I mean, I guess I don't know if they caught him or anything. I don't know anything about it. All I know is he's not here. So that's good. And the officer kept that. Ah, well, the deputy kept asking, um, are you sure you're not expecting anybody? You sure? And I'm like, oh, because I look so gorgeous. Who wouldn't be knocking on my door at three o'clock in the morning? You know, I'm like, please. Uh, I said, no, listen, trust me. I don't have anybody coming over at three o'clock in the morning. And if I did, he wouldn't be coming over at three o'clock in the morning. So that's ridiculous. But um, here, this is the tips that I wanted to give you in case you are single and you're feeling like you want to protect yourself and you don't have a weapon on you or whatever, this is what you do, okay? First of all, number one, please listen to what I'm saying. A lot of times people that come to the door are casing, you know how they say casing the joint? That means that they're looking to see who's inside the house and what kind of house you have. For example, they'll knock on the door and wait to hear animals. So if they knock and they heard do dogs barking, they would know, oh, this girl has dogs in there. Knock that house out. Don't even go to that one to rob. You see what I mean? Or if they knock on the door and a guy answers, who oh, is it? You know, like, oh shit, not forget it, you know? But, or, or an old lady or an old man. You see what I mean? So the number one thing I want you to, to make sure that you do is you don't do anything. If you have a ring camera, go, good, look at the ring camera. You don't need to look out the window. You don't need to open the door. But the number one thing is don't answer. Don't say anything. Stay quiet. 
You're not home. They don't know if you're home. Don't assume that they know you're home. Okay? They want to check to see if you're home. Don't answer. The second thing is, if you do have a ring camera, don't put it on your door. Because if you put it on top, in front of your door like most people have it, or on the side in front of the door like most people have it, they're, they're using it to ring the bell. But technically, a ring camera has two things that it does. It records video and it rings the bell. What's more important to you? The ring, the bell for me is completely useless because you can knock on the door. That's the ring, the knock on the door. Think about that. So the most important thing is the actual camera. So look at the ring as a camera only option and put it in a, in a place where you can see a, a, a large area that will cover whoever's at the front of the door and maybe your driveway. Now, how I did it is this way. This is a diagram, just hush, okay? I can't do it any other way. This is like the building, it's like a villa, okay? Here's the parking lot, here's my car, and then you've got my door here, then you've got like a wall, and then you have, you know, the window, okay? And that's the end of the building, okay? So this is where I put the ring camera. I put it right here up against this, uh, what do you call that, the window pane, I guess, or whatever, and it's, it looks at this, and it's 150 feet, I believe, span. So the camera will actually grab anybody that's in front of the door all the way out to the parking lot, and then all the way here. That's the whole span. And over here, there's another building with two other neighbors. So it's, it sees, I can see the window and the door of both of these neighbors, plus the parking lot, plus my door. You really can't, f I mean, that's way better. And I also got the kind, you know how they have, like in Ring, they have like the silver color and the uh, copper color. I got the copper because at night, you can't see it at all. It's like, you can't see it. So when that guy was standing there and he looked over, I saw him looking over at the camera, I noticed he kind of was like, oh crap, okay, I didn't see that I was on camera, bye, and then he turned, turned around and just kind of walked away. But I noticed that he noticed it last minute because he was thinking this girl doesn't have a camera. So that's the, those are the tips, the tips for the camera and also the tips for don't answer the door, don't open the door, don't, I have to like really, like I got to drill this into my parents' because they're elderly, you know, and I'm constantly telling them because they love to say, who is it? You know, don't say anything, you know, and my mother has this habit of opening the door, but there's a chain on it. I'm like, are you kidding me? The chain isn't going to hold anybody back. Don't open the door. No, oh, you're peeking out the window. Who's there? You know, don't look out the window at all. You don't know who's there. Just stay in the house and, you know, Ch -ch -ch. stay mysterious you know and that's it I'm hoping that that helps somebody I mean there's so many other things that you can do um, I mean if there's uh, if they're getting close to your door or if they're leaving the door in your car and then it's near your car if you have an alarm on your car you can press that alarm and just have the alarm go off do it's like it's an obnoxious one like the one that I have that'll scare him off it's just a it's an alarm on your car so you can use the alarm for your car as an alarm for your place. You see what I mean? See, you see, this is what I'm talking about. Just because it's in your car doesn't mean it's just for your car. It's gonna sound off to whoever's near your car, even if they're not near your car. You get it? Okay. Thinking outside the box. That's me, all right. So I'm sorry that I had to look like crap, but you know, this is what I do. I just really wanted to get this out there so that you could see that my life is really like this. I need to have like Big Brother following me around, which I'm already being followed, I'm sure, but it, it's nice, uh, you know, if you had like a camera following me around because there's always something. I can't make this up. I mean, I really can't make this up. And, you know, today, today this morning at 8 o'clock, I was going to go to Mass, and I thought, I haven't been to Mass in years. This was the first time I was so ready to go. I had my clothes over there. I was like, I'm ready to go. And um, 
once I'm up, I, I can't, I can't go back to sleep. It's impossible for me. But you benefited. All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> okay, well, that's all I have. I will talk to you soon. Uh, thank you for subscribing, by the way. Did you see my subscribers? Two months ago, I had 19. And as of this afternoon, I had 74, I believe. So two months. Not bad. Come on. That's pretty good. So thank you. Thank you for all of my subscribers. Thank you. Thank you, really. I was so happy. You made me so happy and smiley. But I can't see who it is. That's the thing. I can't see who it is. It, it doesn't give you that option if you have like a private page or something. So I can only see nine of you. So thank you to the nine of you and the other ones, you know, thank you as well, whoever you are. So, all right. So that's all I have. Uh, good night or good morning. It's 420. 11 minutes. That's not bad. I hope I didn't bore you. Um, let me know if this has ever happened to you and if you have any comments or suggestions that you want to add that people might benefit from. That's good to talk amongst yourselves kind of thing and let people know if you know something. You're like if you're law enforcement and you know something, then you might want to help somebody out with some suggestions. This is would be the place and the time to do it. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Um, talk to you soon. God bless you. And what do we say?